Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Randy. I want to ask you a question. Okay. Um, how did God lead you to Bowen Perth? Um, thinking about that, I think it's quite a miracle how God actually brought me here. Um, I was graduating high school in 2012 and missions wasn't even really on the mindset. Um, I wanted to go to school for engineering and to really pursue that. Um, but we have a mega cities ministry here in Wyoming, Perth that is all about transforming a, a city over a million people. You, like They send teams there the whole year to really catalyst and transform a, a city. Um, and the, the mega city for that year was London, England. And I really, really wanted to go to, to London. Like my whole life, I really just wanted to go to London. I don't know why. I just had the, the you know, you just when you just know that you you love a place. It's kind of how it was. And so um, I decided for some reason I decided to do my DTS. My sister is on staff here in Wyoming, Perth, and so I was like, oh yeah, like I'll just go and do my uh, discipleship training school. Um, for six months and I'll go to London, I'll go to Australia and then I'll go back to Minnesota where I'm from and go to university for engineering and kind of get on with my life and um, and like there were some other things as well like the reasons why I came and um, just kind of wanted to make sure that I was saved in a way and make sure I was like sweet with God and then I would just kind of like go on with the rest of my life. And so when I came to DTS, I was kind of like, what the heck am I doing here? We had worship and prayer times all the time. And, you know, I grew up in youth group and stuff, but I didn't really love that kind of thing. And so it was a really big shock to the system for sure. And so I, yeah, I just started, so I started to like kind of apply myself in these times. And then, um, yeah, God just really started to, to change my heart. Um, in a, in a big, big way, like I, I don't know, I, I was thinking, I was like, man, I would, I would hate to be called back here, like, uh, long term, and, and um, somebody had asked us that, like, asked a group of us that question, like, how many of you guys are hoping that God doesn't call you back, and I'm like, me, 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 um, it's so, like, first week I was here, and then, like, um, the second week I was here, God started to speak to me about trusting in Him, and with financial provision, which is really scary, growing up in the West, learning that you need to provide for yourself, that you need to go to college, get a good job so you can have money, so you can have nice things and have a nice life. Um, and so God started to speak to me about that. And so that was really, really challenging for me. And so as God continued to change my heart, I could say, I said, I little, take little steps of obedience, whether that was outwardly or just in my heart saying, okay, okay, God, I trust you. And then with that, my heart started to change and I started to get this incredible, um, heart for the nations like missions and doing missions work and so now I've been on staff for like a little over a year um, and I love it I have such a heart for the nations and seeing transformation in the world because it's the gospel that's gonna change it okay thank you yeah you're welcome